Greetings, my friends, and God bless. This is Earthman from EarthmanSoil.com. Today, we're going to talk about Epsom salt. Epsom salt is magnesium, sulfur, and oxygen, mainly magnesium, but a little bit of sulfur and oxygen. A lot of people say use this in your soil. A lot of uh, YouTube videos and a lot of articles um, on Google and whatnot say this is good for your soil. And uh, from personal experience and a lot of research, my friends, I'm going to tell you to stop using Epsom salt. And I'm going to give you three reasons why uh, not to use this in your garden. First of all, magnesium, it's a, it's a secondary nutrient. It's not a major nutrient. Also, it competes with calcium. And if you have too much magnesium in your soil, which this will happen if you put too much of this in, it will cause a calcium lockout. Also, it build, it's a salt buildup in your soil. And salt buildup causes other nutrients to become locked out of your soil and it burns your roots and a lot of other bad stuff can happen too. So salt, soil, not good. Also salt with microbes, also not good. Your microbes hate it. They don't like it. It's not good for them. Salt makes them die or freaks them out. Um, sources of magnesium that you can get, well, and sulfur, well, dolomite lime. Uh, Langmanite, um, you know, your compost at home, good old fashioned compost has tons of magnesium and sulfur in it. You know, um, uh, green sand is a good one to put in there. And my uh, all time favorite, azomite, um, you know, you only need a little bit and the plant will get it through the microbes naturally. You don't need to add Epsom salt. Trust me, friends. Don't use this stuff in your soil. You can use it for other things. Maybe it's good for your feet and, and things like that, you know, to soak in, but it's not for your plants. God bless you and have a great day.